FA Cup quarter-final. In years gone by, it's not always been easy getting to the FA Cup quarter-final. I'm not saying it's been easy this time, but here the Blues are again with the prospect of a trip to Wembley. Not that I necessarily agree with the semis being at Wembley in the next round of competition. So, is it going to be straightforward with this one? Earlier today, Coventry won at Wolves, three goals to two. Both their goals coming deep in stoppage time. Cup upsets can happen. What's on the cards for City today? Newcastle, of course, already not the Blues out of the Carabao Cup. And I remember my first trip to Wembley many, many years ago was against Newcastle in the 76 League Cup final. So it brings back a few memories of that as well. So let's see what happens today, see who I meet today along the way. Well, this is the FA Cup and that's what it's all about. It's not always the favourites what win it, some years they do, but uh, a lot of times uh, there is shocks. And uh, Wolves to get beat off Coventry at home was a big, big, big result for Coventry City. Um, you know, going to the semi-finals and who would like to play Coventry City? So the winners of Manchester City, Newcastle today would love to get Coventry City, I'm sure, in the semi-final. Listen, Newcastle, we know, are having a bad time this season. They're not, they're not really, they've had a lot of injuries, they've had a lot of problems. Uh, so, uh, listen, it's very obvious to say City will win. I'd be very surprised if they don't. But because it's, it's the FA Cup, if Newcastle go for it and they're brave enough, why not? Newcastle did knock City out of the Carabao Cup, didn't Yeah, they? it was at St James as well, where they're quite strong. So I, I would say... Uh, They've only won two games on the road this season, I think, so um, they're not a great away side. They are very attack-minded, uh, which will suit City, because City's very good at picking teams off. Um, Newcastle's going to have to be very disciplined, and they're going to have to ride their luck today if they want to get through. Um, City, City favourites, definitely so, but uh, it's the FA Cup, and who knows? As a Mackham, <laughs> <laughs> what does this game mean to you? Because obviously it's... Uh... Your arch enemies, I guess, Newcastle against City, your old team. Yeah, I mean, I was, uh, I loved my time at, at both clubs. Um, I had a long time at, at um, Newcastle, um, but I also had a, had a brilliant time here as well. Um, if we look at the game, um, is it going to be a tough game for Manchester City? I'm not, I'm not too sure. I think we've just seen, I've just been talking there, just, uh, you know, recent games, it's been reasonably tight. And Newcastle have knocked Man City out of the Carabao Cup as well, so I still put Man City as, as favourites, big favourites, but just open for an entertaining game. You see what happened with Coventry at Wolves, yeah. cup upsets can happen, can't they? Absolutely, I mean, this is why we love this competition. I mean, I, I think people were sort of kind of fell out of love with it, or, you know, do you play your strongest team and all that kind of thing in it? I absolutely love this competition, love playing in it. It was always a special thing for me to play in a competition. Lucky enough to get uh, in one cup final, um, in a semi-final, but missed the final through injury. Um, I love this competition. It just, it's a dip, different atmosphere. I don't know why, I, I, I can't really um, explain it, but great competition to be involved in, and let's hope it's a great day, did you? Have you ever been on the wrong end of a cup upset? Very close. Um, I think when I was at Newcastle, we played Stevenage. And uh, we win one nil, uh, but we were hanging on at the end. We drew one one. We took them back to St James's, and um, I think everybody thought it was going to be five or six. And I think even then we scraped the win. Um, so you, you just can't take anybody for granted, you know. Even the lower league teams. And I think this will be the case for City as well. I mean, I think the players know that they're going to be favourites, but it's just about doing the job on the day. Nigel, you're from the northeast. In fact, I think you were born in Sunderland. City against Newcastle, your former team City, how do you see it going? Well, I haven't watched them up at St James's Park, so I had the privilege of watching that game and City came from behind and won the game. And I don't expect, expect any different. I think um, Newcastle have a lot of injuries at the moment and City, having shown the other side of them themselves last week at Liverpool, I think should find this proposition a little bit easier. That's not to underestimate Newcastle, because under Eddie Howe, they have made strides, even though they're having a poor season now. But I do expect City to go on to the next round of the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Have you ever been on the wrong end of a cup upset? Um, no, and I've never been on the right end of a cup upset either. Unfortunately, the FA Cup has never been one of my um, four tiers, really. I've never, we've never, I've, the teams I've played for have never got far. Even with City, we played Brentford away. Um, we got beat 3-1 down there. Um, I scored when I came on as sub and missed a couple of chances. That could have got us a draw. But today, hopefully it'll be better. Yeah, hopefully it'll be better and uh, they've got some people who can stick them two chances away. Are you going to be doing 
doing that all the way through the game? Only if he lets me. So <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. get off him. Is it, so how old are you? Do you remember rattles? I certainly do. So this is like a rattle reel, isn't it? It is indeed, yes. Yeah, yeah. You're going to annoy Probably everybody him. around you today, aren't you? Yeah, Only yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this going to win? Uh, I've never, never liked to say. never liked to say. I don't like putting the kibosh on it. Oh, no, you after, know, don't you? you know, yeah. I don't know. I don't no, know what's going to happen. Yeah. I'm just a fan like that is. <laughs> so in all the years you've been watching football, have you seen many cup upsets? No. Well, the old one, but generally watching City, you expect the unexpected. Hopefully it won't be an away win, to that, away win today. City will win. 3 1. If Newcastle do win, would you consider that to be an upset? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. You never know. I, I, I'm going to enjoy it today. I've got my grandson with me and I'm going to enjoy it today. Win or lose, just enjoy it. And if you're wondering what the noise is, they've been giving those out as you come in. What, what do you think? Are you going to be using that all the way through the game? Probably, yeah. What do you reckon today then? Um, I think we'll win, but I think it will be difficult. Maybe like 2 1 or something. Quite a tight game then. I think we'll win. I think it'll be an hard game. Even though Newcastle aren't playing great, um, there's no slobs. And it's an FA Cup, isn't it? Anything can happen. I think the happy clapper cardboard things are an absolute joke of what the club have done. If you've got to do that to create an atmosphere, then it's a sad state of affairs, isn't it? You know what I mean? Well, we're sat in a family stand. Is it not aimed at the kids, do you think? Well, look at the amount of kids that have got them. I know kids have got them, but look at the amount of books that have got them. I think it's aimed more at the tourists, so rather than your, your old school fans. And you know, I think that's the way the club are going now, unfortunately. They don't want the likes of the old school season tickets here. You don't bring the money in the same. Could be a potential banana skin, I think, what do you reckon? <laughs> yeah. Good. Newcastle. I don't it's, know. It, realistically, this is like the last chance for a choke, isn't it? So I think they're going to go all out for it today. So City have got to be on the game because after this, last four, it's anybody's head, isn't it? True, true. Yeah, so Three ones there. You're not worried about Coventry doing what they did to Wolves. I've just seen that actually, yeah. 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 A bit, yeah. It's a bit concerning, but uh, nah, three ones City, mate. It's the FA Cup, isn't it? Anything can happen in the FA Cup, so as proven by Coventry. So we've got to do the business today, get through and concentrate on the next game. Let's do it, Blues. Come on, get involved. I think it was a bit of a procession for City. They've uh, comfortably controlled the game. Got a little bit of a look, look, look with the two shots that have been deflections. But Newcastle invited City onto them, and City have just taken them apart at times. Foden and Doku have been really bright in that central area of the pitch, in between the lines, often breaking lines. And if Doku had just a little bit more quality around the edge of the box, I think City could have been out of sight by now. The next goals. Paramount importance. If City get it, it's going to be 4 5. If Newcastle get it, we might have a game on our hands. It's looking like Wembley again for City, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, City should, from here, go on and win the game comfortably. It's been comfortable in the first half, but for one save from Ortega, which was an excellent save, Lord, he's left. Other than that, Newcastle are relying on the break, and they've only got two people with real pace there with Anthony Gordon and Isaac. If, you, if you're going to try and win games on the break, you need at least four or five players going forward who have that type of pace. Newcastle just don't have that um, capability as we saw Chelsea had when they came here and sat in a deep block and broke on City. I thought it was fairly comfortable for City. I thought that a couple of our players, Doku had a good game, I thought, I thought Kovacic was superb, um, and I thought we could, we could and should have created more chances. It's feeling like a regular trip. I don't know if you know this, but it's a record six FA Cup semi-final. I've been to every one of them. 
So, yeah, I love it. That's the outside. Yeah. But, yeah, I've come a long way to, to see these games. I'm up from St Albans every, every home game. Love it. Uh, even even really too there was a pretty decent score for it. There could have been more. Yeah. You seem a bit blase. I mean, since you win all these games, you get used to it, aren't you? Yeah, but it was, uh, it was easy really, when it? It was like fourth gear for a mile, I'd say. Good game though. It's to Wembley again. To Wembley. Very good. We'll be going. I'd say walk in the park, but well, that seems like a confident man, but no. I thought it was an easy game today. Just what I get to that semi-final. Well, six in a row now. And six semi-finals in a row. First team ever, I believe. Happy with that. Just what I do to the treble. Again. You're going to win it again then, are you going to do the treble? Definitely two cups. Uh, the league is leagues a bit. The league is going to be close. I'm very confident in the FA Cup and the Champions League. Well, it's a very good game. City controlled it brilliantly. Uh, probably a bit lucky with the deflections, but you know, never in danger. And uh, great result on onwards and upwards. Up to Wembley again. Yes, yeah, Wembley again. Brilliant. <laughs> so another victory, uh, another semi-final. On course for City in the FA Cup, sixth in a row. Amazing. The records that Pep Guardiola has set are stunning, aren't they? Uh, a two week break now, of course. Uh, I'll be doing an audio podcast in the interim, probably a couple of them actually. Uh, and then, of course, I'll be back for the Arsenal game. Uh, there will be two more parts to my David Bernstein interview, the former City chairman, coming up in the next couple of weeks on this channel. So look out for that. Big thank you to Motoring Offence Lawyers. Dot com, which is Kenway Miller, also to RRG Group, who particularly Toyota in Rochdale, great service from Toyota in Rochdale, I have to say, um, even though you might say I'm just saying it because they sponsor me, no, they're very, very good, and also big thanks to Timson as well for their support of this channel. So look out for David Bernstein, look out for my audio podcast, and look out for me against Arsenal in two weeks the calm before the storm although with all this rain here it feels like we're in a storm in Manchester City on the way to Wembley again que sera sera eh it's great being in blue <laughs>